Yes, and for joining us once again. Now, Captain Andrew Ayu, the captain of the senior national team, the Black Stars, has been speaking about some two crucial things that we want to discuss with you. One, he says that he wants to win World Cup with the Black Stars. Yes, he wants to win World Cup with Ghana over there. We are going to discuss that with you. Again, he has said that um, nobody has an, an, an advantage to be part of the, scene, um, the World Cup squad for for the black stars but then some senior players have that particular advantage and we will be talking about that let me hear your views thoughts comments about the, the what andrea you captain andrea you has been speaking let me hear your thoughts in the comment section over there i'll be very glad to hear you and talk to you about all your thoughts and comments over there yes now um my joy online has been monitoring andrea you's interview and they've bring out some Two key things Andrea you said in his latest interview over there. Now let's discuss the fact the first part of um apart from some senior players, no one is guaranteed a place in the World Cup squad. That is Andrea you captain speaking over there. Now um Andrea you says that look, no player, no player, whether abroad or home, has um, a guarantee spot in the World Cup squad for the 2022 Qatar World Cup that Ghana will be featuring. He says that look even though there, there are some players who are switching nationality. Six players have already switched nationality to Ghana. The likes of Inaki Williams, uh, Ransford, Eboa, Konesta, Tarek Lamte, and all those players have done that. But he says that they are not, they don't have a guarantee spot in the World Cup squad, except some se senior players over there. And we don't know what or who those senior players are. But um, that is what Andrea Yu is saying. To quote him verbatim, um, from my joy online this is what the captain said the newcomers are talented but we already have a strong team that qualified for the world cup so every position is competitive andrea you told al jazeera so andrea you has been speaking to al jazeera and my joy online monitored that continuing andrea you said apart from senior players who may have an advantage i believe no one is guaranteed a place in the squad yet um just yet everyone must prove their quality on the field and everyone has a chance giving the coach more options and solutions formations and i believe it is beneficial to have new players on the right mentality and um, that is what andrew Ayu said over there now he also talked about the fact that there is still an opportunity for the other new um, players who have not switched nationality yet to join the senior national team the blasters for this particular world cup 2022 uh, quoting him he said the players are good and qualifying for the world cup makes you very attractive why not let the boys come the door is open um, for any Ghanaian who wants to play for and help the country but you must come with the same determination you put into your club the same desire and you cannot expect everything in your european european club to be the same in the national team because there is a time for the team to adapt that is what andrea you said about these new players now the next thing he's he's talked about was i want to win the afghan or world cup for ghana do you think ghana blasters can win the afghan or the world cup especially with andre are you as the captain of the side maybe the, the 2022 world cup will be the last world cup for andrea because of his his age he's now 33 years so can he win the world cup with ghana let me hear your thoughts and comments over there in the comment section now blasters captain andre are you um of course is is he's do he's done very well as a captain he was with the he was with the squad in 2019 where we reached the round of 16 as the main captain of the of the team when um coach akosi was there was the coach now in 20 21 yes 2022 he also went to afcon with the squad and we couldn't qualify out of the group yes with morocco gabon and then comoros comoros beat us for our last game we couldn't qualify but andrea Ayu has done very well for the senior national team the blasters winning the africa and um, the world cup under 20 for ghana yes the only african country to do that they did that in 20 2009 and the day are you andrea you was the captain of the side now speaking about his his plans or his ambitions of winning the world cup or afcon for ghana and then for ghana blaster he says i'm quoting him for myself to be real i don't have personal targets 
the only personal target I had and still have since I joined the Blasters was to win a trophy with the team. That's my only target. I've been close a number of times. Yes, at the 2010 AFCON and 2015 AFCON final. I won the under 20 AFCON and won the under 20 World Cup trophies. But my only target is to win a trophy in the Blasters JC. Any trophy that I can win, AFCON or the World Cup trophy. That's my goal. That's my aim. And that's what I pray and work hard for every day. He told the Daily Graphic in an interview over there. So, Andrea Yu has been speaking over there. And he also spoke about the World Cup group that we find ourselves in with portugal uruguay and then south korea andrea you says i'm quoting him it's a tough group no doubt about it the first match is against portugal who are one of the favorites in the tournament but we are ready as i said we have the players we have the quality and the staff help us go through this but if you look at all the teams they are ranked higher by fifa than us so no on paper they are favorites and we are the underdogs we take it like that he concluded so that is andre the day are you the captain of the side speaking on various issues that we brought you here on this channel sports 7 j let me hear your thoughts views on andre are you and the comments he's made so far in the comment section thank you very much for staying please do all to subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell do all to like this video and